Hi to all. I'm glad to see such a big audience in our webinar. I'm Aronas Kuginis, and today I will present a new video solution of ADAS. In other words, Advanced Driver Assistance System. We continue to introduce new video solution to the market because the need of video telematics is growing. We already have Teltonica dual cam with a solution of getting evidence of accidents. ADAS, it's a totally different solution. With ADAS, it's possible to avoid accidents at all, protect vehicles and cargo from accident damage and the driver from injuries. And without a tracking platform, it will be hard to achieve for the value of ADA solution. Today with us, it's our partner, Raiden Michael from 3D Tracking. And uh, I'm passing the word to Raiden. Thank you, Arunas. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Royden Michael, and I am the CEO of 3D Tracking. Our white label platform has been working with Teltronica equipment for over 15 years now and we track in excess of 100,000 devices across more than 90 countries worldwide. I look forward to showing you via this webinar how we've integrated the ADAS solution into our software. Back to you, Arunas. Thank you, Raiden. So let's continue and go to the agenda. Today, we'll talk about the accidents on the roads and what reasons are. I will present ADAS solution and what are the benefits and features. Later, you will see the possibilities with ADA solution on 3D tracking platform. Also, I will present the use cases. So let's start with the cost of crash. What do you think? How much is the cost of one small accident on the road? Maybe it goes from 1,000 to 10,000 euro. Maybe if we will add a truck into an accident, the cost will grow up to 50,000 euro. And what if the casualties will be bigger, for example, cargo damage, injuries or fatalities? Definitely the cost will grow uh, from 100,000. And I want to show a statistical information regarding crash cost per country in European Union per year. And evaluation consists of uh, cost of fatal crashes, serious injury crashes, slight injury crashes and property damage crashes. Also, just I want to mention that estimation um, uh, for the grand total cost of crashes for the 28 Union uh, Europe Union members comes up to 267 billion. And let's take a look at statistical information of some countries. First will be Lithuania, and the total cost of the crashes are 1 billion. Poland 12 billion, UK 23. Spain 29, in Italy 39, and Germany 51 billion. Now let's compare the collision numbers in Europe per year. You will see the volumes of collisions by countries. So in Lithuania, we see that there is over 3,000 collisions. Further in Poland, 30, in UK 160, in Spain more than 100, and in Italy we have 172 and in Germany over 300,000. So let's move on. There are many different causes of collisions and uh, front collision is the most frequent one. And here are the reasons of front collision. Over speeding, it's a type of aggressive driving behavior, the most common and troubling one. Speeding causes a great potential for loss of vehicle control, increased stop distance, uh, stopping distance, crash severity, and fuel consumption. Tailgating is defined by driving too close to another vehicle in front, those considerably increasing the chance of rear and end collision. The tailgating driver can be either conscious or unconscious of high-risk driving. Distracted driving it is characterized as an activity that diverts attention from driving a vehicle. Texting on smartphones is the most alarming and prevailing distraction behind the wheel. It creates tremendous potential for deaths and injuries on the roads. And let's move on to another one slide. To lane departures. 
Lane departures crashes among the deadliest collision types. Globally, about 60% of road accidents fatalities happen because of unintentional lane departure. And here are the main reasons of lane departure. Drowsy driving is uh, the dangerous combination of driving and sleepless or fatigue. Here to add, drowsy driving is a major concern of many professional drivers worldwide. And here's why it makes a person less able to pay attention to the road, slows down a reaction time if he has to brake or steer suddenly, affects the ability to make adequate and time decision behind the wheel. Talking on phone, browsing or texting while driving leads driver to shift focus on something else and take the eyes off the road. No doubt, the increased risk of traffic accidents here is obvious. Sadly, it's a pretty common habit too and might have price and even tragic consequences for road users and drivers. Consider this, while eating, a driver's reaction is lower at 44% while drinking by 22%. And let's move on. I will show a short uh, video of lane departure a little bit later on, but also I want to show one picture of an accident of lane departure. It happened just a few days ago near our office and uh, accident of this type occurs actually every day. So let's go to the video right now. It's a short video and we can see what happens when the truck changing lanes and save. So let's go further. And uh, now I want to introduce the new Teltonica solution, ADAS. It consists of the ADAS camera, which is mounted on the front of the vehicle with three M dual tape. The connected ADAS camera detects all kinds of events in front and sends data to server and shows the detected events on display in front um, of the driver. The second component of this solution is Teltonica Telematics Tracker FMC 125. The ADAS camera and FMC 125 are connected via a REST32 interface. And integration is done with all FMX 125 devices with FM, FMC, FMU, FMM, and FMB devices. So let's go now to the functionality part. ADAS camera detects uh, vehicles, pedestrians, bicycles, motorcycles. So let's see uh, functionality in details. Forward collision warning provides the driver with a warning in critical situation where, where there is a collision is pending. Lane departure warning provides warning for safe driving. It alerts the driver of sound and visual warnings and helps to regain direction if the vehicle departs off the lanes. Pedestrian collision warning provides the driver with a warning in critical situation when there is a pedestrian existing in front of the vehicle's pathway and uh, front vehicle start alarm. It notifies the driver if the front vehicle starts to move forward from zero speed, I mean complete stop status, and the vehicle is not moving within two seconds. Forward uh, proximity warning uh, notifies the driver when uh, there is a vehicle existing in the detection range. And speed limiting uh, recognition it recognizes the speed limit signs and provides warning for over speeding. So let's go to the features of ADAS. One of the main features is getting events from ADAS camera to server. Like example, if the driver on the road is distracted or tailgating, forward collision warning will appear and generated event will be sent to the server via uh, FMC 125. So all the events from ADAS will be sent to the server and the fleet owner will have a possibility to analyze them. Another important functionality is driver notifications. When driver will trespass the lane without a turn signal, he will get the alert of sound and visual warning on display which is located on vehicle's panel. 
As well, ADAS has a digital video recorder. It records video and events data into microSD card. In, star is in standard configuration, we have a 16 gigabyte uh, with up to four hours of recorded video, or it could be upgraded up to uh, 128 gigabytes uh, with up to 30 hours of recorded video and events data. So let's go and see what kind of notification can appear for the driver. You can see on display that driver can get different notification. In fact, he will get all of them if the event occurs. And um, I will mention the main ones. One of the main is uh, forward collision warning, uh, which will show how many seconds is for possible collision. With the lane departure warning, driver will get notification when he will trespass the left or right lane. With pedestrian collision warning, driver can get notification when pedestrians crossing the road. Also, with speed limiting recognition, driver will get informed if he's over speeding. And um, let's go further. In our portfolio, uh, we differentiate uh, two different ADAS solutions. ADAS on the left and ADAS Plus on the right. Do you see the difference? Actually, yes, there is a difference. Uh, first of all, ADAS on the left has a simple LED display and ADAS, on, ADAS Plus uh, on the right has LCD display. And there is additional functional difference. ADAS Plus on the right has speed limiting recognition function and ADAS don't. If you remember, I mentioned all the fu functionalities, so ADAS and ADAS Plus have them all, except ADAS Plus has additionally speed limiting recognition. So let's go to the installation part. To install ADAS camera, there is no need to have any additional certificate. Every integ integrator can proceed the installation process and they can find it in our uh, back wiki page. Camera location and vehicle measurement can affect ADAS performance. It's very important to put accurate data for the best performance. The measurement details consist of camera height, camera center, camera to wheel, camera white, and camera to bumper. So let's go further to installation. And additionally, we provide to clients uh, a database with a CAN bus connecting schemes and many vehicles are available for using the CAN bus for vehicle signals, turn signals, brake and speed. This leads to a much faster installation. And the list of vehicles is constantly updated uh, and also the installation may still be completed using analog connections instead of CAN if the vehicle has no CAN bus or there is no CAN file available. And now let's go to the configuration part. Now I'm going to switch um, to configurator. Uh, to set up the ADAS, uh, you need to go first of all to RS-232 and RS-485 um, functionality over here. You need to enable RS-232 and uh, you need to to enable ADAS camera over here. And that's it. And additionally, what you need to do, you can go to the ADAS functionality over here, and you can find all the IO elements, uh, and you can choose uh, whatever you need uh, to get um, uh, the events. And when you are done it, just don't forget to save it. So let's go back uh, to the presentation. And now I will pass the word uh, to Raiden to um, show ADAS events on 3D tracking platform. So Raiden, please join. Thank you, Arunas. So firstly, everyone, thank you for joining. In my presentation today, I will be covering the following topics. The types of ADAS information that 3D tracking is supporting and the approach taken with regards to the integration of the Teltronica ADAS solution. 
how to enable the ADAS functionality for a vehicle on the 3D tracking platform, and then viewing the ADAS data, including live data views, as well as reports and alerts. Our approach was to break up the data into two types, namely events and then variable data and values. Both of these are incorporated in a way that's fully customizable and both are able to be viewed in real time as well as built into the real time alerts and the historic reports. In terms of integration, this process was aided by the fact that the ADAS solution uses the same AVL ID protocols that are, have already been integrated for the FMC series devices. The first step is to enable the ADAS functionality in a vehicle on our platform. So let's start with the ADAS events. Here you can see the events already mentioned by Arunas, which have been enabled on this vehicle. For instance, the left and right signal turn indication, the lane departure, safety distance, front proximity, etc. In addition to those events, we've also got the regular FM events at the bottom. Additionally, we also have the variable values. So here you can see data such as the distance of the vehicle in front, the length of the left lane, the right lane, etc. Now that the vehicle is set up to start receiving the data, let's have a look at how this looks on the platform itself. So here you can see the vehicle displaying its latest GPS information, as well as the latest ADAS information and a summary of the current day's activity. If we click on any of these ADAS variable values, we can see a graph showing that value throughout the current day. Now let's open up a trip and see how this information looks. You can see listed on the left all the reports reported by the device, including all the ADAS variable values and also the ADAS events. It's possible to see all the trip data by either scrolling through the vehicle, through the list of points rather on the left hand side, or by running your mouse over the speed chart across the bottom of the page. Or additionally, you can press the play button and then the system will step through each point individually. If we click on a particular point, what we can see is that point will come up on the map with the relevant events and with the relevant information shown for the variable values as well. The value to the end user of seeing all the ADAS data as well as the GPS information and the map all within the same screen is it allows a user to make a full analysis of the information being reported. Often a single piece of data doesn't tell you a full story, but combining multiple information sources into a single view allows the user to make a better evaluation which can then lead to better decision-making. Now that we've seen the graphical displays, let's have a look at the reports and alerts that have incorporated ADAS. Reports are always backward looking, meaning a user can ask for details of specific events that have occurred or scenarios from the past. The 3D tracking platform supports unlimited history, so reports can be run going back as long as the account's been open or the vehicle's been reporting. Let's start by having a look at a report that's looking at the events. So here we'll look at a report for the past three days that are incorporating four of the key events already mentioned by Arunas. The front collision, the front proximity, pedestrian collision, and safety distance. As we bring up this data, we'll be able to see every event that has occurred. And what we can do is we can also click on the globe on the left hand side to bring up a map instance of that event. And then we'll also be able to see on the map exactly where that event has occurred and we'll be able to click on that point. Another report I'd, have, I'd like to have a look at is the sensor data report, which looks at the variable values that have been reported. So here we're going to have a look at the distance of the vehicle in front. And again, we'll run it for the past two days. 
Now, because these units are reporting such a huge amount of data, you can see that this report is obviously going to be quite large and it's going to be reporting numerous instances, some with very low values. But as I said earlier, often a user is going to need to combine multiple different sources of information to really generate um, a, you know, a good picture of exactly what's happened. So the last report I want to show you is what we call our compound report. Now what this does is this report is able to look at multiple different pieces of information and stitch together a report when all of that happens at the same time. So what we're looking at is the four events that we looked at earlier. We're looking where a distance to the vehicle in front is less than 10 meters. And we're looking where the speed limit is greater than 20 kilometers per hour. Now we'll run this for the past month. And if we have a look at the report results, we can see every instance that has come up within the past month. Here we can see that point on the map. And if we click on it, we can see the speed greater than 20, we can see the event, and we can see the seven meter distance to the vehicle in front. Now the value to the user of incorporating this ADAS data into reports is that reports can quickly analyze and summarize large amounts of data, providing the user with a more focused data set. They can then be analyzed in more detail using the functions we've already seen, such as the historic trip view. Now we move across to alerts. The alerts are real-time notifications when certain rules are broken or certain events or scenarios occur. And alerts can be sent to users via email, via SMS, via our mobile application, or via the system's own alert message box. The alerts follow a similar structure as the reports we've already seen and can be based on specific ADAS events, specific ADAS variable values, or a combination of both. Here we'll look at a quick example. We've got an event, an alert that's going to fire when any of those four events we've already looked at happens. We've got another alert that will fire every time the distance to the vehicle in front is less than 10 meters. And then we've got a compound alert, which is going to fire similar to the compound report we saw earlier. Any of those four events must happen. And at the same time, the distance must be less than 10 meters to the vehicle in front, and the speed must be greater than 20 kilometers per hour. Note that every alert that's created can be given a priority to enable users to identify which the highest priority alerts are when they get received. So if we have a look at some of the alerts which were received today, we can see all of the alerts that have come in based on the trip that we've already seen. And if we click one of them, we can see that the alert details will come up along with a link. And that link then allows us to go straight into the map to see exactly whether that alert happened. And as you can see, there we go, there's our event. As I mentioned earlier, our mobile application does support all of the alert messages. So it's possible to receive all your messages on the mobile app. But all the functionality that I've already explained to you with the trip view, the ability to click on trips to see the information in detail and the ability to click on the map, as well as also see all the live current information, all of that's available on the mobile application as well. And now I would like to hand it back to Arenas. Thank you, Raydan. So I'm going to continue with the uh, telematics market. So um, I will talk shortly about the video telematics market, the integration of cameras to enable various video-based solutions in commercial vehicles environment is one of the most apparent trends in fleet telematics sector today. Bergenside estimates uh, that the installed base of active video telematics system in North America will reach more than uh, 2.4 million units in 2021st and in 2025 it's going to be 4.4 million and in Europe this year it's going to be almost 1 million and in 2025 it's going to be 1.8 million so you see that the market demand is growing for video solution and let's take a look what kind of fleets uh, can use these solutions we are providing to the market not just the ADAS camera. We uh, give a solution which consists of the ADAS camera and the tracker of FMC 125. 
The EDA solution can be used widely. Regarding use case groups, uh, it can be assigned to advanced or professional tracking, security insurance, and special transport. This solution is perfect for international logistics and delivery services. For long trips and fast deliveries, it's a need to avoid possible accidents. For special vehicles in construction, to protect people from injuries, it's a must to have such solution in public transportation and gives additional safety for carrying valuable cargo. Uh, let's review uh, use cases, a few use cases in details. For international logistics, it's a must to deliver cargo safely and of course in time. But driving for a long period, reaction will slow down. Also, inappropriate driver behavior on the road will surely cause fuel efficiency decrease, fleet maintenance overheads, traffic accidents and fines, loss or damage of goods to be delivered. With the ADA solution, you can avoid all of it by receiving alerts for drivers of possible collision, lane departure and other events. In this way, you will secure the driver and the cargo. With the events from ADA solution, you can evaluate driver behavior as well and provide training for efficient driving. For vehicle hitting, pedestrian can be one of the most dramatic types of accidents anyone could ever experience. And these type of accidents do unfortunately happen. For special transport, it's a must to have solution to secure pedestrians. For example, in the construction area, there are uh, all kinds of different heavy transport going in or out and it's a crucial to get the events of possible pedestrian collision actually to the driver and uh, with ADA solution driver will get the alert and can avoid possible strategy. Uh, if we will talk uh, about oil, gas or mining special transport, it's a must to control the speed and by overspeeding this special transport can cause tremendous damage. And with ADA solution, driver will get uh, the alert of overspeeding. For the, furthermore, the operator will see the events on the platform and can take action to train the driver. For your convenience, uh, you can find all the information about ADAS and ADAS Plus solutions on our web page and, of course, our wiki page. As well, you can find use cases with ADAS functionality of forward collision warning and late departure warning also in our web page, which uh, actually are the most useful on the road. If you want to try the features of ADAS, you can order the sample actually right now. If you're working with Teltonic Telematics already, you can contact directly our salesperson. If not, so you can please send the email via info at teltonica.lt with the subject of ADAS and our sales team members will contact you actually in one business day. Additionally, for smooth implementing of the ADAS solution, you just need to add new ADAS available IDs and you can do it super fast and get the functionality. Like I showed on the configurator, you can have possibility to get various events from ADAS camera. And additionally, for fast ADAS testing, you can use 3D tracking platform and you will be able to see on map ADAS events and of course generate reports uh, like uh, Radon showed you. And um, for getting a trial version of um, 3D tracking platform, uh, please write to them directly. It's sales at uh, 3dtracking.com or you can visit their page. So thank you very much uh, once again for listening um, and watching our webinar. I hope it was uh, interesting. So thank you very much and take care.